finish, do um, you want to kind of circle around here so you can see the pump? We're plugged into the wall over here. Okay. All right, so we've got the, the pump is plugged into the wall right in the back here. We've got it plugged in right here. Okay, that's where the power cord plugs in. Just a normal pole clamp design in the back, so you're good there. Has a nice little Sorry, carrying I'm case. To At the top it. of here, you want to do a quick what, what release kind of on the pole. Like you just press down this metal clip and this white uh, button in the back, and it'll just oh, release the pole clamp okay. from uh, the pump. Now. Okay, you might want to let her videotape uh, as she's doing it. Perfect. Great. You go, girl. All right. Okay, next thing you'll do is you're going to power on the pump. Here's your on-off button right here. Mm -hmm. Press that one time. It'll go through a set of self-checks. Okay? You'll see an automated drive arm. Your drive arm will extend out. What alarm you just heard right there was the battery is empty, so we'll just okay to silence that alarm. Uh, we're charging this pump, so you're not going to have an issue with that later on, um, and it will operate with it plugged into the wall. Next thing you're going to do well, is you're going to op your, open your syringe arm out and to the right. And what you've done is you've opened your little, ha the all. green clip from the housing of the pump you. right here, or, okay? Or do you, want me to call you? you open your face plate. You take your 60 cc syringe. At this point, we have a patient that's going to be having okay, 30 mLs uh, being delivered. We've got the phalanges of our syringe facing up and down. That's and the way zero. you want it to sit in the pump. When you deliver a 60 cc syringe, when you insert it okay, into the we'll pump, it. notice how it doesn't right, go in like you would want uh, want it to go in to face up and down. So just kind of turn it towards you once you get it in. You'll just then make the phalanges of your syringe face up and down. Mm -hmm. I always like to take my left arm, hold the syringe in place, then take your other hand and move, move back your drive arm. What you just heard right there is a little parking brake, so now you know you're secure it's going to prevent any siphoning of your syringe and any inadvertent bullising. Okay, so we're secure. We've got everything in place. The next thing the pump will ask is <clears throat> that it's auto-detected that it is a Monojet 60cc syringe. It's highlighted. So just like a cell phone or an iPod, you're going to either left arrow or press OK. So you either hit the or corresponding arrow that's highlighted or you just select that it is that 60cc syringe. Your automated drive arm is going to come into place. It'll say, do you want to use your last therapy so you have the option to revert back? We'll just say no, and no is hitting the corresponding down arrow. The next thing that's highlighted is rate. We're either left arrowing in or pressing OK. We'll just select OK. It brings us to our rate screen. Here's where you're going to enter in your milliliters per hour. You have your ones column and your tens column. So let's, let's uh, left arrow for, excuse me, so let's left arrow over to our tens column, okay, because we're going to enter in 60 mils per hour. And we're going to up arrow, and we're going to enter in a 6 in the tens column. So now we've entered in 60 mils per hour. We know we can start because I've got this little start icon at the right-hand side of my screen. I can start my infusion. I'm running 60 mils per hour. I'll, I know I'm running because I've got arrows at the right-hand side of the screen. I also have a green light at the top of the pump. If I started to see an occlusion or any sort of buildup in your line, you'd see a white bar come across the screen, and the, the pump would tell you that it has occluded, and you need to you know, figure out where there's maybe some pressure in the line. Okay. Next, you'll see a little plug that's indicating that we're plugged into the wall, and then you'll see your battery life in thirds, and obviously our battery is fully depleted on this pump right now. Stop your pump when you're done. We're going to try and flush with normal saline. So what you're going to do to make sure the patient's getting all the medication is you're just going to open your drive arm. You'll take your normal saline flush syringes, which you'll have on staff up in your unit. You'll unhook the medication and then you'll hook your normal saline flush You'll take the normal saline flush and put it into the pump just like you did your 60 cc syringe. You'll close it and you'll enter in whatever type of rate you wanted to do, just like we showed you in the previous so demonstration. So you've given them the, med the medication and you want to flush? 
the flush the line because there's a lot of medication still in the line and there's not enough medication right now. Uh, they're on a shortage, so uh, you just need to make sure you, you deliver all of the medication that's in the line. The tubing will fully prime 5 mLs. We've got a 10 mL saline flush, so if you if you do the whole saline flush, you'll, you should be fine. If you do 5 mLs, you should be fine. Okay. So, so what you'll have to do when you get your syringe and attach your tubing to it is prime your tubing so you're ready to go when you hook to the patient. So your tubing's okay. primed. You know, you, you start it. Now, at the end, I don't know. She said put the syringe back in there. I don't know if you need to do that or if you're comfortable you just... just or you it. can flush it I if you want. If you don't want to... Yeah, you it. can flush it with okay. your hand and do a push if you want to, or you can put it in the pump and, and I mean, it'll it's flush. it's five minutes Same if thing. you take, what, one or two minutes? I mean, I don't know. Close your pump uh, syringe arm and power off your pump by holding the on-off button for three seconds. When that occurs, your drive arm will come into place and the pump is shutting down. Cool.